Hey guys, welcome back. Now in the previous lecture, we understand about the topic that why we are not using time as a measure to compare our code. Now in this lecture, we are going to talk about Big O, which is an alternate rating method to measure the performance of our code. So here, let me take two examples. Suppose code A has 10 operations and code B has 5 operation. No matter which system we run, which system we use, code B is going to perform better than code A because the number of operations is less in code B. That's the reason we use complexity analysis because it's depend on the number of operation as well as input. Let me try to show you a graph that will give you a brief idea about big O notation. So these are different ratings that we use. I know at this point of time, I am calling them as rating to make you comfortable, but each of these individual value has some weightage. So this one is linear value, which we use during loops for and while loops. This one is constant. Each of these values, individual values has some weightage. At this point of time, you will also see different colors to show how good each rating is. You might see something excellent and you might see something horrible. We'll be talking about each one of them. You will also see two important thing, which is X and Y axis of graph. So this X axis is actually the number of input, which is the number of element in our input. And this Y axis is number of operations we are performing. So there are different type of operations, which we are performing throughout our code base. And there can be different number of inputs. Some companies are only playing with 50 or 100 input and some companies are actually playing with millions of input. So this graph sum up everything. Remember, we are talking about scalability. That means we are talking about millions of users, millions of input. And this is the graph that portrays it. Don't worry, we are going to talk about this in depth. Here, let me open a code example and try to calculate big O notation with the help of inputs as well as operation. So if you look at this simple search example, we have two list, one with three element and the other one with five element. What we have done is we have defined a function in that we have a loop. We are looping over each student and checking if that student name is Shubham. If the condition is true, we are going to print available. And here we just called our function. We are not doing anything fancy. All we are doing is we are just trying to search for a name. So if we try to calculate big O notation for this particular function, you have to analyze number of operations and number of input. At this case, I have my list one, which only have three element. Let me try to add one more, which is Shubham. And now in this case, now we have four elements. What we are going to do is we are going to select the first student and check if this is Shubham. So this is our operation one because we have selected the first student and we have performed the comparison. Now what we are going to do is after this loop, we are going to select the second student, which is Drake and performing the comparison operation again, if this name is Shubham or not again. We are selecting our third input, which is Ashish and now performing our operation again, which is, is the student is Shubham or not? Again, we are jumping back to our loop, taking a new student name and comparing it if this name is Shubham or not. So that is, we have total four operations. We have total four input. If you try to map this on a graph, you will analyze this function is totally dependent on number of inputs. If we have two inputs, we are performing two operation. If we have three inputs, we are performing three operation. If we have four inputs, we are performing four operation. Let me try to change this name and search for Chris and perform this example with my list number two. Now here in this case, we first select the student Andrew, perform the comparison and haven't got any result. We now work with Chris perform the comparison and print out available. That means we found our condition, but we are now selecting third student and check if the third student is Chris or not. We then perform the comparison, select the fourth student, perform the comparison, select the fifth student, perform the comparison. 
so here in this case even if we found our name at the second position which is first index we are still searching on each and every element that means total we did five operations and we have five input if you try to put it on graph step by step you will analyze that we have four item four operation five item five operation and so on if you observe the pattern it follows linear path if i talk this in terms of complexity this linear path follows a pattern of big o of n so if someone asks you what is the complexity of this program all you have to say is it follows linear time it follows linear pattern so the complexity is big o of n now here you can use anything i am talking about n because it is a general industry term you can use big o of x but the main purpose is this is the number of elements we have that is the input if you call it as big o of n if you call it as big o of x remember this is just the number of elements that we have as input now this big o of n is the most common complexity that you will ever find even during the practice problem you are going to face lot of big o of n questions don't worry if you are not able to understand this we have several other big o notation and we are going to cover each of them and then try to combine them solve lot of problem so by the end of this section i hope you will be comfortable with this at this point of time just remember if the number of operation is equals to number of input we follow a linear path that linear path is called as big o of n this is a common pattern with loops while loops as well as for loops so here in this condition we are using a for loop and you can see the length we are following for our input is 5 the number of comparisons that we are going to do is 5 so the result which we get in our graph is one item one operation two item two operation three item three operation and so on so it's a linear time graph so the complexity is big o of n i hope now you have some idea regarding this complexity don't worry there are tons of other we are going to follow each one of them slowly thank you for following this lecture in the next lecture we are going to talk about big o of 1 which is constant and by that example you will get more confidence regarding this big o notation thank you for following see you in the next one